Hey, what's up guys? Gannon here. Um, the audio and the lighting quality right now is going to be garbage. It's fine. I'm going to be doing a dual monitor install vlog today, um, which is, I guess, pretty cool. It's Christmas morning, so Merry Christmas to you all. I hope you're enjoying it. If you guys have like seen any of my other videos, you'll know that I used to have um, a pretty big monitor set up at my desk that I would sit in front of, um, but unfortunately, my dumbass raged playing League of Legends and I actually broke it here. Yeah, so that's it. Um, I actually like threw my headphones down because I was raging at my uh, friend Delma because he's totally asked the game and uh, I just broke it. <laughs> and at the time I bought that monitor, it was like a thousand dollars after tax, so I was kind of pissed, but now that technology, like the price of technology exponentially like decreases over time, um, they've become way more affordable now. And uh, now I have two of them today to uh, install. And uh, no, I did not get $1,000 worth of monitors for Christmas. I'm not that spoiled. I, I actually bought one of these and I got the other one for my Christmas present this year. So um, I'm really excited about this. This is like really overkill. <laughs> I think it's gonna look really cool, uh, and it's gonna just uh, productivity for editing for me is just gonna be out the wazoo with these big ass monitors. Um, and uh, oh, that berserk poster is a little spoiler for another video, but um, yeah, pretty cool. I'm going to be wall mounting them today, and uh, my mom's gonna help me with that because I'm not handy at all because I'm just you know a faggot. So um, yeah, so. I guess let's get right into it. I fall in love too easily. I fall in love. All right, guys. So today I'm going to be mounting these with um, these video secu secu like base mounts right here. These wall mounts. I've got like two of those. Alrighty, now we can actually get to wall mounting these babies. Original holes will be fine. It's gonna have to wait. The image is gonna be better too. Alright, so this is like a couple of hours later from the original build. We're like almost done. We've run into some problems. As you can see, it's not exactly even, so I think I might have to adjust the mounts a little bit. And um, the HDMI, no, not the display port on this one is way too short. I'm gonna have to get a larger one tomorrow at Micro Center um, because it's actually pulling this one to the right. This one is like, it's disproportionate, this one's way too out, but 
right now it's still like looking really badass, so I can't really complain. Um, I'm gonna play some League of Legends on it right now, just kind of test it out. But I think I'm kind of done fiddling with this today, so we're gonna finish it up tomorrow. And I'm also filming another like PC edit build tomorrow, so I'm excited about that. All right, guys, this is uh, day two. Just got back from Micro Center. Um, so the problem I initially had, the monitors still need some tweaking. They're a little bit uneven. Um, need to do some stuff kind of behind the scenes here. And I need to put on LEDs, but uh, as you could see, that when I had my Blue Yeti microphone right here, it would take up a large portion of the screen. So I went and I purchased this like really cool arm. What in the fuck are you doing? I'm trying to film, get out. Yeah, no, so I have this, yeah, I have this arm and uh, it holds my, uh, that was my little brother. I got this cool arm and uh, it just goes up. Like I could totally um, adjust it, like put the mic like, back here and out of sight if I want to um, and then I could just bring it down whenever I want to do some video commentary or play games because the Blue Yeti will definitely pick up my voice it's got some pretty good gains so I'm not really ugh, excuse me damn not really worried about that um, now here's like kind of my fucked cable management right now um, you can see I have this grommet here that's out of the wall right now um, because I still have shit to do um, here's my computer, uh, here, let's start it up real quick. This is what my computer looks like right now, um, the old red beast, so, yeah, pretty cool. Um, I've had this kind of, like, old ass tri plug right here for my cables, and I went to Micro Center, and I picked this baby up for only $10. It looks pretty clean, so I'm going to actually put that on right now. All right, well, I'm uh, absolutely pissed again because this piece of shit was just one big giant waste of money. If you could see all of these plugs um, for the monitors and also my my Google Wi-Fi are just way too fucking big. Um, so they just will not let me plug in that last plug because it's covered up no no matter how I like try to um, adjust this or move it around, it, it just won't fucking fit. So I guess I'm gonna have to use something a little less ugly and posh. But yeah, that's just a waste of $10. I don't really wanna go back and return that because I'm lazy. So yeah, it kinda sucks, but hey, uh, you can't always get that dub. You can't always get that epic victory royale. Alrighty, so now um, the monitors are as you can see, even in everything. Um, there's what the whole setup looks like right now. Uh, it's not finished, of course. I got a lot of cable management to still do. Fixed, like, that grommet area. Um, this is starting to look a lot nicer. But uh, as you can see, my computer is open because I am installing the, the i7-9700K. Um, I'm installing the H50i which, uh, you know, I paid extra for this thing because I thought the tri-radiator would look pretty cool. Um, the kind of bummy thing is, is that you see this case, this is the 750D. Uh, unfortunately, this drive bay right here, um, I f was under the impression that I could take it out, but you actually cannot. You actually have to do like, I'm pretty sure, you have to like mod the damn thing and, and actually cut into your computer to remove this, so. Um, I love this case, but now that's kind of a thumbs down for me. It's kind of fucking annoying. The the H50 will still fit in there uh, fine. It's just I would I would love for it to be a little bit more visible. Um, so I don't know. Maybe in the future I'll actually when I get like the I mean I have the money to do it right now. I could buy a case, but I really can't be fucked. Um, I'm kind of tired from like building multiple computers this holiday like here let's go into my brother's room because i just upgraded like took out and upgraded his entire motherboard so here Caden, i'm filming i'm taking a look at your setup right now you gonna say hi 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 all right so yeah you can see right here um 
he's had a, these monitors for a while, but uh, we've never set up, up like the true try. He at, at one point he's just using a single one because his computer couldn't run multiple monitors and everything. But he, he used to have a really shitty AMD chip, and uh, now as you can see, we've got full green um, in there, and we replaced his motherboard and we upgraded him to the new Coffee Lake i5. So that's what we did for Caden, and now. That's the whole reason I don't want to do like like another huge big ass build because I really cannot be fucked. Yeah, but yeah. Hi, Donna. Donna. Hey, Donna. Donna. Hey. Hi. Hi, cutie. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah. So I think I'm actually I'm not like a tech guru. I know a lot of people are really good at filming these like build vlogs and everything, but. I'm tired. I'm probably just gonna install the part and show you guys what it looks like when it is complete. All right, getting in here back again. It's a new day. If you could see, a couple things have changed again. Um, we had this K70 Corsair keyboard lying around our house, but it had a literal fungus growing on it. Um, it was so nasty because it belonged to my little brother before this, but it's such a nice keyboard So I decided to clean it up. That took about an hour um, I went to Micro Center again today, and I got a new mouse pad because this mouse pad over here Getting a little bit dusty, but is, if you could see it's You can't really see because it's not focused or anything, but and they're also kind of faded But it has about 30 signatures from professional CS players um, back when I was like into CSGO and I went to the tournaments. Yeah, and, and I really was like fanboying over the players, but turns out um, I put in uh, my new radiator and everything. Um, and you'll see here in a second. Let me move this, okay? You know, it's booting up. You know, it looks fucking fire. Um, absolute masterpiece. But the problem is, is that I actually don't have my new processor in here at the moment. I have my old Skylake i5 because apparently this badass motherboard um, right here, the Maximus Hero, does not support 9th gen even though it's the same chipset and it is the same socket. So I was so fucking pissed off. I was like, hey, you know what? If I'm gonna go all out, I'm gonna go all out and I'm just gonna um, wreck my fucking bank account. So I went back to Micro Center today. I bought this like $350 motherboard, which is the most I've ever spent on any fucking motherboard ever. And look at this. Look at this right here. Look at that. That right there is, that's sex, honestly. I know you might be asking, hey Gannon, why are you spending so much money on your computer parts? Are you compensating for something? And, and to that, I answer yes. I have a very average sized penis, and I'm frustrated. So I need my computer to look as chat as possible, or else I will not be happy. So I'm gonna put this in, hopefully. Um, I'll get it in in time before work, and I could film what it looks like. But um, with that, I'm gonna have to see you guys later, because my camera's about to die. Alrighty, it is like, I don't know maybe three days or four days after I originally started this project on Christmas Day. No, it's, it's been like three, I don't know. Um, but we're finally done. I didn't want to show any of the boring uh, building aspects of this because I'm not fucking Linus Tech Tips, you know. I'm not Marquez, <laughs> Marquez Brownlee. <laughs> but uh, no, no, no. But dude, this is like, this has turned out really nice. Like I had some extra money left over. Um, so I kind of went all out. I don't know if I showed you in another clip, but we got a K70 cleaned up. I got this new uh, really big mouse pad. Really, really lovely to play on getting a new mouse pad. A Steel Series. Really good price for that. Um, I've now hung up my Yeti microphone, and uh, I don't know. I think my room light is kind of fucking this up a little bit, but I'm gonna turn off the lights in a second so you can get a better look. And first of all, let's just get a look at how badass um, the Black Swordsman looks. Holy shit, boys. That right there has to be like one of the best like consumer grade PCs I've, I've ever seen. Like just the red, I you see the ROG back there. This thing is 
really running like a dream. Um, my cable management right now is like, I'm more than happy with it. You know, uh, I just, I'm just really thrilled. Like this is, this setup is more than my dream setup. Honestly, this is like, I'm, I'm like vlogging, dude. What are you doing? Get the fuck out of here. But yeah, this just right now rocking that 1070. Um, by the way, guys, if you're looking to get like um, a card for a good price, 100% recommend getting refurbished cards. Um, like on eBay, they are like hundreds of dollars off the original price. They work just as well. Um, you, if you like, you know, pay attention and kind of, you know, buy from a trusted seller, getting them in great condition. And I bought this uh, 1070, I think, for like 270 bucks, which is like an insanely good price. So. Definitely buy a refurbished card. That's like the fucking move. Um, we got the i7 9700K in there. Of course, I had to buy that new motherboard, and it's like the Maximus um, code, I think it is. It's badass. Like I, I was checking out, and even the cashier's like, "Dude, this is a badass board." I'm like, "Yep, I'm going all out with this one." But um, so yeah, you could really just see, just. How insane these monitors are I had the old model of these and you could just tell like these just look way better all right let me turn off the lights um, here we are it's just it's really crazy I, wallpaper generator on uh, steam or wall I think it is this shit right here it's like maybe like two dollars or three dollars wallpaper engine it's called um, the best investment I've ever made, honestly. Look at this, this is really cool. You get some really awesome wallpapers to display. Uh, let's see here. I don't know if I was, I think I was showing the beach one before, but this this mountain one is really nice. They they specifically have like really high uh, like resolution photos for like even dual monitor setups like this. Really impressive. Uh, and then finally, I, I had to get this done before I you know, made the video. These things right here, these are lighting kits that I got from Ikea. If you have an Ikea, like, around you. Um, I don't know, it's not really showing up that great, like, on this film, but as you can see, like, there's underglow, and I can change it to any color I want. Um, let's, like, kind of zoom out right there. It's not coming up super great on camera, but it looks really nice in person, and that's kind of all I care about. Um, and this is just going to be so amazing for productivity. Like, look at that. Like, I could, for one thing, I could just use a whole 34-inch screen on Sony Vegas alone to do a video. And then I can, you know, just work on a thumbnail or something right here on this end. And then I still have this whole space right here just to manage my files. Like, that's absolutely insane to me. I feel like this is just a video editor's dream. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to, to using this. But we still have one last thing to do. A little finisher up for this video. Let's turn the light on. Let's get this shitty gay magnet board out of here. Wow, went back when Supreme stickers were like a meme. Let's get that the fuck out of here. And I will be back in just a second. All right, now I wasn't really going to show you guys me struggling to like put this up, but um, here it is, boys. Um, I photoshopped this picture and I had it framed at Staples. Staples, by the way, is a great place to make movie posters, like custom made ones. So if you have a Staples near you, hit them up if you're looking to make a poster like this. Uh, it is Guts from Berserk in the Berserker armor, and uh, I put a little border around it, put in the Berserk text, and then I made the eye red, you know, add the black red accent, so it's supposed to be like my computer, you know, it's like themed and everything, you know, pretty gay of me, actually really cringy, but I think it's, I think it's badass, you know, um, yeah, the black swordsman, and then the black swordsman PC, so, this has been a long ass project, probably filmed it horribly, because I'm not used to doing stuff like this you know I me mean, a lot of my videos are kind of I do most of the editing on an actual computer so sorry if I didn't get any like cool shots or anything like I said 
we ain't Mark as Brownlee around here, but I would want Mark as Brownlee. Mark as Brown. Mark as Brown. Yeah, anyways, guys, um, let me just pan out real quick and attempt to maybe show you what that looks like. There we go. Um, it looks way cooler in person, trust me, if it doesn't come well on the camera, but yeah. Um, now I'm gonna actually get to hustling and, you know, editing some videos now, so I will have to see you guys in the next one.